Now on the second design, I'm going to, again, I'm going to start by creating the bail. So I'm going to create a small loop with the round nose pliers. So again, we're going to start by having the wire just on the inside of the pliers, not sticking out, but right on the inside of it. And we're going to push that around. Sorry, this is wobbly. Uh, we're going to push that around to create our loop. Okay. So now, because we have a lot of straight edges and corners, we're going to be using the chain nose pliers. So the chain nose pliers are the ones that are flat on the inside. And remember, these are the ones that are tapered, which means it's wider here and it gets thinner as we go down. Uh, flat nose pliers would also be acceptable. These are also flat on the inside, but it's the same from top to bottom. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and grab it where that corner is. Okay. And I'm going to put a very sharp bend into this. Try to do this so you guys can see it. So I'm going to bend it. So there's our first bend, and we'll bend it out, bend it in, bend it out, bend it in, and we'll continue until we finish our design. Now that I have this bent all the way around, um, I have one last section to go, which is going to be right down here, and then I'm going to use the wire cutters to cut it. So we'll go ahead and bend that last one, and then I'll show you how to use the wire cutters to cut the wire. Okay, so right in the spot where I want to cut it, you can mark it with a Sharpie, or you can just go ahead and grab it. I'm gonna mark it with my marker here. So we'll mark it right in this spot. And then I'm gonna take the wire cutters. Now there's two sides, the side that has that little dip in it and the side that's flat. So the part that's going to stay onto your piece, you want the flat side facing toward um, your jewelry piece, the dipped part facing toward the piece that you're going to cut away from it. And then you want to watch where your wire is because when you cut this, the wire can fly across the room. So you want to be careful that you're not pointing this towards somebody's face. So make sure you're paint, pointing it down toward the table maybe trying to hold on to it. Um, only hold on to it if it feels safe. If it doesn't, just point it down toward the floor or toward the table. So we'll cut and then we will file that very last little bit with the needle file. That very last end. And then we are finished. <laughs> 